Hi, this is Joe McNally for Adorama TV, and in this segment, we'll talk about using found objects to do your lighting. Adorama TV presents Photo on the Go with Joe McNally, where you'll go behind the scenes to see how great photos are made. I was working with Jonathan, who is like Superman on the streets of New York. He can run off buildings, as you can see in the picture behind me. We were in Brooklyn. We were walking around. I had some flashes on a tri-flash and a paint pole looking for what could we do. I see a parked truck. Most people say, yeah, oh, parked truck, that's in my way. I looked at the parked truck and saw it was white and it immediately became a light source. So I asked Jonathan, as only he can do, to run down the block, run up the side of the building and spring off of it into the air towards my light source, which was the truck. And we knocked this out with three flashes on a tri-flash, bouncing them into the panel truck and creating effectively a large softbox-like light out of a parked truck. Let's take a look at specifics. All right, here we go. Magic marker in hand. Okay, building right here. Okay, big building. Jonathan's direction comes this way. He runs literally up the side of the building, builds some speed, takes a couple of steps along the side of the building, and then springs this way. So he is in the air, out in here. Okay, <laughs> looks like a bug. Um, Sidewalk, street here, parked panel truck. Callie is sitting here with a tri-flash and three flashes right here, bouncing into the truck that then pours light literally back onto Jonathan as he leaps into it. So in other words, I'm trying to create a bit of an advantage here in that he's not going away from the light source, he's coming into it. So power is not a problem, I'm using three flashes. And scope of the light is not a problem, it really gets itself around him. And in fact, the danger here is light going everywhere. I wanted to make sure it didn't go too far back to the building. So I really asked him to put a lot of effort into, into the jump and get out into space, which he did amazingly well. Hi, Joe McNally here for Adorama. Be sure to check out Adorama's latest contest to win prizes. The key for me, and I do this quite a bit, is I gang my speed lights. And because of this item, it's called a ratcheting tri-flash, means you can turn these guys so that the directional sensors on the SB910s are facing in a collectively unified direction, if you will, and they can easily pick up my commander flash. So I'm shooting TTL, 250 at F4. My camera is obviously low. It's down here, it's a 2470 millimeter lens, okay? And my flash sends a signal to Cali's lights here, which bounce off the truck and then get themselves around Jonathan. And as I say, he's leaping right into the light. Quick thing, out on the streets, use what you can, improvise. In this case, a panel truck. Hope you've enjoyed this segment of Adorama TV. This is Joe McNally signing off, talking to you about using found objects to do your lighting. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.